Good morning everyone and happy Friday. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about homeschooling and curriculum choices. Um, when COVID started, we did homeschooling with the kids through the school from March until June. And then in the fall, we decided to do the virtual school because there was just so much unknown and we weren't sure what was gonna happen and we didn't wanna deal with the masks, et cetera, et cetera. So we decided to do the virtual school, which we are currently still using and we are almost done, thankfully. Um, next year, we decided to continue to keep the kids home because it's really convenient one. We. I like to be able to be flexible with them and do schoolwork for a couple hours, go do something, run to the store, go to Hayward, go to the chiropractor, et cetera, et cetera, and then come home and finish. And yeah, so with that being said, we do not want to continue with the virtual school next year because we want to do more hands-on and continue to be even more flexible <clears throat> so we decided I decided to place an order for next year's curriculum and we added some in for Declan because I would like to start him early we did decide to go with the good and the beautiful curriculum it is a Christ-based curriculum it is very eye-catching which was huge for me because with everything being on the computer, um, the boys got so bored and it was so hard to engage and basically like dealing with a robot for six to seven hours, which is how long it took between both kids. Another great thing about the Good and the Beautiful curriculum is I can teach both boys from some subjects at the same time. So right now I teach Grayson, all seven or eight of his subjects, and then we move on to Sawyer. So we're just doing a lot. With this curriculum, I can teach their history together and their science together, which is awesome because they have, it's K through eight, the history and science, and there's different um, questions for their age groups. Um, the, another thing is they come with awesome games. So for example, there's four years of history. So we got year one to start for next year. And then it comes with a history game and a book of history stories. For science, for example, one of the science that we got, there's many, many to choose from, but we got to pick five. So I let the boys each pick one and then I picked one. And one of the things that they picked was Botani. And it came with the curriculum. It came with two storybooks and flower study. And it also came with a flower game so they can memorize flowers. Another curriculum science choice that we picked was kingdoms and classifications. And I can actually show you a couple things in here. So it tells you how to prep for each unit. It tells you things that you will be needing, supplies that you are need, will be needing. It comes with vocabulary sheets that you can just paste on the wall, so which they will be using. And lots of pictures. I'd like to get to lesson one so I can show you an example here. Lesson one right here. Living and non-living hunt art observation. So they have a list of items. They will mark what needs air, needs water, needs food, can grow, can move on its own and reproduces. And example of a second lesson tells you all the supplies you need. And it's so self-explanatory, you guys. I haven't really looked at it that much, but we are so excited to be using this curriculum. The only thing we have left to get from the good and the beautiful is math because they redid their math this year and it doesn't come out to August, but they make their stuff so affordable. We were looking at other Christian curriculums and they cost 
hundreds of dollars per kid. This cost us only a few hundred for all three kids, minus their math because I haven't gotten that yet. Um, they have the doodle books. Um, this is so they can practice their handwriting. This one's for Declan. Um, I got handwriting for the big boys. This is going to teach them how to write in cursive, which is awesome. I got them typing one so they can learn how to type on a computer and they literally just open it up, take your keyboard, place this in front, and then you type the lesson. So let me show you. Lesson one tells you to write all these letters or type, I'm sorry, type all of these letters and then they don't have to look at the screen. They just have to pay attention to their fingers and then I'll look at it to see how well they do. Um, Declan's books come with a packet of activities for him to do so he can learn all of his ABCs. Um, his whole workbook is learning ABCs. So it starts with A, ends with Z. It comes with these cool ABC flip books so he can recognize his letters and the sounds, AA alligator. And he has four flip books of all of the alphabet. And then this is Sawyer's English. So it comes with a shared reader, a personal reader. So these are books that we will be reading. It comes, oh, excuse me. It comes with a course companion, which has the answers in it for me. It has this notepad. It's a daily checklist. So every day he will fill out the day of the week, his memorization, um, his geography and grammar cards, and then each lesson. And here's his geography and grammar cards. And this is what I love about this curriculum. This is lesson one right here. Right now, when he is doing English, he goes on the computer, does something on the computer. Then he goes to his workbook. Then he has to go back on the computer. Then he has to look up sites to read a book, et cetera, et cetera. Everything he needs is right here. I cannot tell you how excited I am to have everything in front of his face. So nothing is getting skipped. Nothing is getting missed. For Grayson, he has a little bit less. He will be in third grade this year. I cannot believe it. He has a personal reader book, a poem book, and a course book. Again, like Sawyer, everything is in front of him. So, lesson one, lesson one, that's it. They also have a library where you can order other books to go with your lessons. Um, all of these come in like packets. So these three books all came together for English. Same for Sawyer's, same for Declan's. Um, for science, so I ordered this. This is a science class, but then we got an extra kit to learn more for make it more engaging. We got water and our world. That's another science. We got space science. We got the botany. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And then the kingdoms and classifications. And also this history all came together as a kit. So I'm super, super impressed. This is all first impressions, obviously, because we have not worked with any of it yet, but I'm very, very excited to work with this curriculum with my boys. 
I wish that I could quit the virtual now and start this, but we are nearing the end and hopefully we will be done by the end of May with the virtual. I'm very excited to have my kids home. It has been such a blessing to be able to stay home with my children and to not just teach them book smarts, but also hands-on. Sawyer has been working with me doing the sourdough in the water kefir. They work every day feeding their chickens and their dogs and helping me with chores. And they wouldn't be able to experience this as much as they do going to school. So I'm very happy, I'm very blessed. Thank you for listening. And if you are interested in homeschool, check out The Good and the Beautiful. I highly, highly recommend it. Have a good day, bye.